Hello guys, welcome to Kitech Digital. My name is um, Kobe and welcome to this channel. Now if you are new over here, uh, my name is Kobe, like I said, and we we basically um, you know help um, anybody who wants to learn WordPress from scratch without any code, okay? So that is what we do on this platform. You can create your own website on your own without any code. Now in this video we are going to learn how to be able to create this beautiful website over here as you see over here. Now what is this website for? This is a f um, delivery website or a career website. A career website whereby uh, or a shipping website whereby people can um, you know you can create this one for your own self company or maybe you know a company any company of your choice. Okay. Now this is created freely using free resources um free plugins that we use to create this one now in this website um this is what we are going to create this is the whole website that we are going to create okay now we create this beautiful header over here okay whereby you know we have the the logo and then you know the menu also over here and then we'll create this nice hero session over here and then the next side is what the the car about the company okay what the company does and then as you can see we will have this one over um this button over here where people can be able to what you know um track their parcels on the website okay know where the, the parcel is and then also um if you want to read more you can click over here to read more about the company we'll send it to the the about page of the company and then we can list our services to over here what we what what we do as a company okay and then we can also have you know a tracking um, page where people can come and then track their um, consignment or their parcels over there so this is just a simple you know and then also a contact page also this is just a simple website now the website let me refresh it and then you see it also have some the home page have nice animations as you can see all this we created it for free without using any plugin okay so what we are going to do is um this beautiful website over here now if you want to learn how to create this beautiful website for for instance if somebody click over here it will send a person to the tracking um, you know uh, page and then the person can enter the tracking code and then it will generate a QR code for the person um, all the details of the of the, shi the the shipment what will come over here okay so if you want to learn how to create this one how we created this one from the back end to the front end everything uh, please stick with us and and let's i'll walk you through everything how you'll be able to create this beautiful website over here so um, let's jump into the dashboard of our website okay guys so to design a website like this the most important thing is the plugin but first you need to have your um you know your web your your wordpress installed if you don't know how to install wordpress i have um videos over there uh, you can check in my channel there are a lot of videos over there you can use to uh, to install um, wordpress but um, basically you need to have your wordpress installed and then we will go ahead to start um, you know creating pages and then designing our website but before we we step up to design our website like i said the most important thing is to um, think of the plugin that you use to create such you know a website because we we are going to create um, a website whereby people can come and then even track their um, you know their parcels over there you are creating a delivery website or uh, a shipping you know website a cargo or whatever thing website but relating to you know delivering things 
so you need to um, have the plugin that will serve that purpose and that is the one thing and then also you need to have a plugin that will be able to help you create your pages for us because we are going to design this website without coding so all what we're going to do is um, to have a plugin that will be able to what um, you know create all our pages for us we also install that plugin so to install all those plugins all what we need to do is to go to click um, hover on plugins over here and then go to add new now we will search for elementor phrase because we use elementor to um, you know design our pages so we're going to install elementor so this plugin over here is um, a website builder or a page builder so we're going to use it to it install it so we click on install we're not going to activate it yet then we're going to search for uh, the plugin the main plugin that we are going to use to you know run this whole website okay we call it cargo just type in cargo okay cargo cargo track and trace yeah so wp cargo track and trace that is what we are going to what, install so when you type in cargo the first one that you see over here which is written w wp cargo track and trace so just click on install and then um, we also install um, contact form so contact install contact form so i'm going to install um, this one over here now i would I'll, I'll not install this one i'm going to install wp forms and then i also install um, this formulator okay to create um form that we can use for people to you know um <coughs> for people to be able to um, request for um, um how do you call it if they request for cost quotes and all those things i think this this is the these are the plugins that we will need for now so this um you know plugins are very necessary so now let's go to install plugins over here and these are the plugins that we've installed now i'm going to delete the contact from seven because i'm not going to use that one so i'm going to delete it now this ones are okay for now now let's activate them all so we click on here to select them all and then we choose activate from the bulk action and then we click on apply now we've activated um the the plugins okay so um first we need to create pages okay we need to create pages. now when we visit our if you visit your website this is how it looks like now there is nothing over there okay now it is because of the um the cargo that we created that is why we have the account and then the track over here but aside that um you know there's nothing that you can see over there so first what we're going to do is to create um you know pages okay or we can decide to even set up set uh, set um, you know check the settings of the cargo first but then um, i love to create my home page make it nice first before i even go to the plugins first so now let's create pages so um hover on pages over here and then go to all pages now we have um, four pages over here but we're going to delete this one because we will not need a sample page okay we trash it out and we go to trash again and then we delete it completely okay so let's go to all pages now these are the three pages that we have this one is automatically installed by um, created by wordpress and these two things were created because of the WP cargo that we what that we created that we installed. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and then you know create the home page and then set the home page. Okay, so we create. But before we create our home page, let's go to settings over here, and then let's go to um, let's check 
permalinks okay let's set up permalinks first and then let's give it as a post name okay and we want it to be a simple permalink whereby it will be just the post name that would appear in our links and then we click on save okay so after saving it now we can go ahead to create our pages so let's click on add new page we close this one I'll exit the full uh, screen mode so I click on this three dots over here and then I'll exit the full screen so this is um, this uh, basically um, what we're gonna use now guys um, we are using the normal 20 uh, 22 team okay but if you want to change it we can change it I would love to change the team so let me just create the home page first and then change the team to my favorite team which is um, the cadence team or I would love to use any other team but then I'll use the cadence team so I'll just um, you know give a name as a home and then I just click on publish now let me um, go to appearance and then go to teams over here and then ocean wp is already installed but i'm not going to use that one so i'm going to delete this one i'm going to delete this one and then i'll go to add new and then i'll search for cadence okay so cadence team i'm going to use this one over here now click on install and then I'll click on activate so the team is installed and activated I can go ahead to delete this one so that my website will be um, you know less heavy okay so the team is what um, you know installed and activated over here now um, if you want to you know um, start with the starter template you can go ahead to what install the then start that template and then choose a template you want to what um, you know quickly start using it to design your website so um, but I'm not going to use that one I'm just going to go straight ahead and then you know design the home page because I'm going to just design the home page the about page and then um, the 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 those other pages that are given to us okay so i'm just going to use the home page about page the track page and then the the account page these are the four pages that i'm going to use and then maybe i'll add a contact aspect to it so we have already created our home page so let's go to pages so we have our home page already now let's create another page which is the about us page So we're gonna create about us, okay? And then we also click on what activate. Now let's go to create another page, which is the contact page, so that people can be able to contact us. Okay, so we publish it. So um, we've created these pages over here so these are the pages that we've created one two three four five these two pages were created for us and then this one also is uh, is on a draft it's not even published yet B but you have to write your own privacy policy because every website needs a privacy policy but i'm not going to delve in that so i'm going to go ahead and then um, set the home page so let's go to settings over here now if you look at the web website over here okay even though we've created the home page you see this is how the website now looks like even though we've created the home page we've not set the home page yet okay so what we're going to do is we're going to set the home page because if you click on um, to view the home page let's say this is the home if i click on it over here right now i'm going to see slash home over here which i don't want that thing to happen i just want um, you know just home um, just the website name with no 
slash home okay so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to settings over here I'm gonna go to reading and then I'm gonna set the home page to static home and I'll, I'll select this home over here okay now if you have a blog page okay if you have you can set the blog page but for now um, we haven't created any blog page yet so we're gonna leave it like that but it is good to create a blog page so that you can um, set the blog page for all your blogs or your posts to go under the blog page so we're gonna save click on save over here okay so now if you refresh it right now you see that the home is gone because we have set this page as what our home page now okay so now that we have all these things done what we need to do is to start designing our wordpress so let's go our website so let's go to um home um home let's click on home over here and then start designing the home page okay so we use elementor to uh, to design it so we click on edit with elementor so this is our home guys this is our home page okay now we need to make sure that the home page is what set correctly so we because we want to use um you know um elementor full width okay so i i forgot to choose it so let's go back or you can even choose it over here but i want to show you where um it is the right way to do it so now if you go under template over here you see the default is what default template okay so we're going to use what full width over here elementor full width now the canvas covers everything without um uh, without the the uh, the menu okay without no uh, you wouldn't see any you know any menu over here okay it covers everything okay but we don't want it that is the canvas we don't want it. we just want the full width this one okay so we're gonna go to it yeah we'll publish it or uh, um, update it and then now we can go ahead to it still edit it with elementor okay now that we we've set everything now what we have to do is um, we have to design the page okay so um, we're going to design a simple home page okay simple home page now we want a hero session over here so i'm going to pick um, this um, one column session over here and then i'm going to um, you know turn it to um, the height to what minimum height okay the height to be minimum height I think 400 will be okay and then um, I'm going to go to style and then go to background type I'll choose classic and then I'll choose an image for it now as at the moment I don't have any image over here you can drag in images over here or you can click on select what to find your image and then you can pull all those images over here. so I'm going to you know upload some images over here so I have my image on the desktop so I'll search for it now I'm going to pick my you know my logo and then um, all the things that I will need to uh, to create the website so this is my hero okay and then all the all the images that I will need I'm going to pick them so that it will be very convenient for me to use okay okay so for now i'm going to use just this few ones over here and i'm going to drag them um let me let me just you know open them like that and then it will what upload into um the website for us so as it is uploading guys if you haven't subscribed to the channel please do please subscribe to the channel for me and like this video if you love it okay so that i i can be able it will motivate me to keep on what doing more of the videos now this channel is new 
it's it's not old enough it's very young and new and then um you know we are going small small okay so these are our hero pages i'm going to pick um this one okay now i'm going to pick like a slider okay so i'm going to go over here let me go to the slideshow over here okay and i'll just select yes, some of the images yeah these three images and then create you know a slider for it and then insert it okay so it's gonna be something like this yeah or you can rearrange them the way you want it okay so maybe you want it this way or that way anyhow you want it you can rearrange them so this this is the the hero session okay so I think we can expand it small give it you know let's say 600 yeah 600 is okay yeah very good so this is our, our hero session now what we have to do is I want to you know just write some few things on it so I'm going to go to the grip icon over here and drag in a, a heading um, widget or first I'm not going to drag in a heading widget I'm just going to drag in an inner widget inner session widget over here so that I can be able to divide you know um, this um, section into two okay and then I'll place all the tests that I want to write over here so I'll bring in you know um, a heading widget over here okay and then um, I will I will write whatever I want to write on it so um, let's say the website name is what fast delivery so maybe I'll just write welcome to fast delivery so welcome to fast delivery so I will change the text to white and then I'll make the f font family poppins and then I'll change you know the text size to 14 14 is too small let's say 20 yeah 20 so I want this one to be a little bit small so I think it's okay yeah welcome to fast delivery and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in you know let's say a test widget over here then I can write whatever I want to write on it so I can write some few words over there okay some few words oh let me just leave it the way it is and then you know style it I'm just gonna give it also white I'm gonna increase the size this one I'm gonna increase the size I'm gonna make it Montserrat this one and then the spacing the um, you know height okay I'm gonna reduce it small so let's say I'm gonna use EM so let's say 2 EM uh, 1 point two it's okay so guys it looks very 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 bad yeah so we have to reduce the text depending on how you want to what you want to write okay but I just want this one to be bigger that is why I so I'm coming here so I just want the text to be bigger want it to be big so let me say 70 yeah 70 is okay so now what we're gonna do is we're going to you know remove the padding okay so I'll make it negative 20 now the margin rather negative 20 so negative 20 is not good so let's say negative 50 that one too is not good so yeah this one is okay so 
now I'm going to make the front high and um, that's uh, the weight of, of the front to be 800 or even let me make it 900 here yeah. and then I can reduce the size a little bit because I want it to be in just two lines yeah so this is exactly how I want it to be yeah exactly how I want it to be so now I can change the text to any text that I want so I can say um, fast secure and reliable yes yeah, so fast secure and reliable yeah so everything is falling in place guys so you know in designing you have to always make sure that um, you design it to suit the way you want it but not just the way you want it but the way if it will, it will be all right okay so fast secure and reliable and that is it now now what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a tracking you know form over here whereby people can track um, their item over there but i'll leave it just like that as at now and then continue designing um you know uh, what we are designing but i can also decide to bring a button over here so i'll bring the button over here down here and then even with this one let me just reduce the bottom size uh, the bottom you know ma uh, margin to negative 80 or 70 here and then style the button okay so i'll just uh, connect it to the tracking form this one track and then i'll just write track your parcel track your parcel now the color that i'm using is um purple okay so i'm using purple so i'm going to pick um the purple color so p color code so i'll just search for color code for purple so purple color code and i'm going to use this indigo color no, let me use this one for the button let me use this one for the button so i'll go to style and then check the button and then use the color code over there so that it will it will blend okay it will blend now when i hover on it i want it to have an effect okay so i'll go to hover over here and then you know you can also decide to you know um, do some changes so maybe you want some patterns and all those things you can do all those things or you want border radius for it you can what you can do all those things okay but i don't want any border radius so i'm just doing a simple design okay so with the hover i want it to you know when i hover i want an animation so i want it to um pop yeah like this just like this one okay so this is quite okay here yeah. i want an animation right so everything is what um getting well now let's go to the next the next part is what where i'm going to also pick two session um you know structure over here two column structure and then i'm going to write some few things over here so what i'm going to do also is what um i'm going to copy this one paste it over here and then change the color to black change the color to black and then change the test to our company yeah 
and then the same thing that is what I'm going to do over here I'll copy this one and then also paste it over here and then change the text color to white and black yeah and then also I'll change the text to about first delivery so I'll come to this place and then I can decide to change it so even with this one I, I will delete this one and use a heading rather instead of the normal text so you can decide to what, use a heading rather instead of the normal text but the normal text also can give you some you know opportunity to do certain things that you want to do okay so so I think maybe I'll use this one but I'm going to reduce the size of it to let's say 50 so I think yeah 45 okay maybe 45 is okay but I don't want it to be capital so I'll, I want to remove everything and write about first delivery <laughs> yeah about first delivery yeah so now I have to remove this things that we did over here okay so with this one maybe we we'll reduce it to 50 yeah so that it will be okay and this one to maybe to you know 50 the same thing yeah so that will be a little bit okay let me say 60 here rather oh uh, 40 yeah it's okay now I'm gonna give a padding over here okay a padding over here so let's click on this one the um, nine dot the six dot or uh, yeah the six dot over there and then let's give a margin rather sorry I'm gonna give a top and bottom margin which is um, 90 okay top and bottom margin, so that there will be space over there okay and then I'm going to, you know, write some few tests here. So I'm just going to duplicate this ones over here. Uh, just duplicate this one. Yeah. Yeah, so about, you know, the company. Yeah, so something like this okay guys now like I said we can even you know style this one the way we want it so maybe um, I want to this one to be you know something like this you can do it it depends on how you want it okay but I think this one is okay so you can you know do everything that you want to do style it the way you want it okay yeah so this is what um, first delivery and then you can put some pictures over here so we're gonna put some um, pictures over here now let me push this one um, to the top a little bit because there is some yeah or maybe 40 or 30 yeah I think this is okay yeah so now we're gonna put a picture over here okay so what we're gonna do is we click over here and then we select you know some photo and then select any photo that we think it's okay for 
for delivery that matches whatever you are doing just like this one okay and then we paste we click it we, we we put it over there so basically the website is what coming into shape yeah so now what I can do is I can even put another button over here okay and then just you know um, just like this one I copy the button I come over here and I paste it over here and then I will just write read more so somebody can click here to read more about it and then change this one to about pick the about us you know link <coughs> and so that is basically that is it now what I'm going to do is I want to position everything in the middle so because you can see this one is not in the middle as you can see it's, it's not it's hanging in okay so what I can do is I can just click on this group icon over here and I come to layout and then the vertical alignment I'll just click on middle so it's in the middle right now so now everything is what it's okay and our website is what you know taking shape now the next thing we want to do is to bring uh, maybe our services or let's say you know what people some reviews and other stuff but um, like I said I'm going to leave it as simple as it is so I'm just going to bring our services over here so I'm going to um, you know bring this um, one column structure over here and then like I did for this one I'm s I'm also going to you know give it a minimum height of yeah 400 I think it's okay and then I'll choose an image for it so I'll select image and then maybe I'll use this image or that image any any image that suit whatever you are doing you can what you can use it okay so let me see I'll choose this image and then place it there okay now so this is the image that we're going to use now I don't want it to be what it, as you can see it is repeating over here I don't want it so I want the position to be center center and then the repeating no repeating and then I want the size to be cover okay so that it will fill in everything that we want and then I'll also go and change this one and make it um, you know 600 yeah so it is quite okay now I want the attachment I want the attachment to be let me go to style and then I want the attachment to be scroll okay so that when um, I scroll no it should be fixed rather sorry so that when we scroll okay yeah it will be fixed over there and that is very nice so this is quite okay this is quite good now what I'm going to do is I'm going to place our services over here so to do that I will go and then add a small overlay on it so that when we write on it uh, we will feel it we will, we will know like we can see it clearly okay so I'm gonna write I'm gonna choose a you know, dark color yeah the dark color I think the opacity is okay yeah this one is okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go um, click on the grip icon over here and then bring in the inner session here and then divide the inner session into um, you know duplicate it to be three 
columns because we're going to add three um, things over there okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going over here and then I can search for either an icon box or whatever it is so let's say image box yeah so I'm going to search for this image box and I'll drag it over here okay just like that and then I'll list all my services over here so maybe we, we do door to door okay door to door delivery and then you can you know write everything you want to write over there and then we can add the picture or the image to over there so you select anything related to um, the door to door delivery so let me say this one over here and then I can I go to style and then I can you know increase um, play with the image you know the spacing the width everything so you can what play with it the way you want it so anyhow you want it you can play with it so let's make it just full like this and then we also go to the content over here we also go to the content over here and then we can change the color to white and then the description also we can change it to you know white and then we can change um, the typography okay so we want it to be you know unique in it so poppins so that everything will be uniform and then you can set the f uh, font size so let's say 35 or 25 25 is okay and then the same thing applies to this one we also you know check pins and this one will make it 18 or 16 yeah 16 is okay and then we can you know give it some spacing all around okay so let's go to the image and then we can you can give it some spacing all around okay so now let's go to over here yeah and then let's give it a um, pattern of 20 yeah so that there'll be some spacing all around okay now i think this is okay yeah but i want i want to give it a background color so i'll select this um session over here and then i'll go to style and then i'll give it you know a background color of white and then after giving it white then I'll make it you know opa like I'll make it like I'll reduce the opacity make it transparent so that it will, it will reflect nicely like a glass then and then I'll come to border and then give it you know solid border and then I'll give it a width of one or let's say two okay and then I'll make the color to be white let's look at how it's yeah so um, it's it's taking shape okay very nicely done then we can also make it like a corner radius reduce the the, the, the corner radius like this so guys it's everything is what taking shape everything is nicely done now we can you know duplicate this one three times so we can duplicate this one one two and then delete this ones over here we can delete them and delete them now guys as you can see there are no spaces in there 
um, you know, uh, in the in the in the icon boxes, there are no spaces over there, which is not good. Okay, so we're gonna give some small spacing. So let's let's try and see if you can give spacing from here. Um, let's go to yeah, so that we cannot give spacing from there. We cannot give spacing. Okay, let's check the here and see if it will happen. No, it's not happening. Nothing is happening. So, meaning that we cannot give spacing from there. So, what we have to do is to, you know, give um, normal, you know, spacing from the padding and the, the margin. Okay. So, we're going to use the padding and the margin to give it space. So, let's go click on the um, the session edit column over here and, and then go to settings and then go to settings and then you you can choose um, to play with around with the margin and then the padding okay so let's um, i'm going to remove i'm going to remove all this thing so i'm going to give um, a left i'm coming going to give a left margin of um uh, a right margin sorry of let's say 20 yeah so 20 is okay so let's see how yeah so there is space over there the same way applies to this one also i'm going to give the same margin of right margin of 20 yeah so there's space to over here and as you can see guys this one is bigger than all of them okay so what do we have to do then what we have to do is we have to give this one 10 10 and 10 so that all what will form into shape so instead of 20 instead of 20 we can give here 10 we can give here right of 10 and then we give here instead of the right we give it um yeah the same thing we give it 10 and then we give this one also 10. We give this one also 10. And this one, instead of right, we're going to give the left. So we're going to give it 10. So that it will, it will cut across. Okay. At least there are some spaces over there. Yeah. Just that it seems that this one is less space. So we still have to find a way to it. make sure that the space is okay it's is is equal so let me check 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 okay so i'm going to remove this one from here and i'm going to give it to the right like this and i'm going to yeah so let me see mm, yeah so i think it's it's quite okay it's quite okay yeah so we are we are over there we are everything is falling into place now we have um, done you know our home page which is quite okay very simple and very unique and nice and then I'm gonna like use some small animations to it so um with this one i'm gonna give it some few animations so i'll go to it advance and then i'll go to motion effect and then i'll give it fading left so that will fade in left this one will also motion effect um and then also fading um you know let's say fading right this one also fading right and then this one will come motion effect 
motion effect over here and then it will fade in up here so that when we refresh it it's gonna fade in up so let's update it the same thing applies to this one we're going to what um, fade in left right we're gonna go to advanced motion effect use you can use anything you zoom in whatever it is but i like the fading okay so the fading um, left is okay this one also the same thing motion effect i'm also going to fade in left the same way but with this one the fading will be right And then this one, the fading will be up here. And then this one will also fade in up. Okay. And then I'll just click on update. Now with this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this one come from left, this one come from right, and this one come from up, like from down. Okay, so this one will fade in, fade in left. Okay, so let me let me remove this one rather and make it none, none, and then apply the the effect to the whole icon box, the whole um you know column itself. So I'm gonna go to motion effect, and then fade in left so the whole um, you know column itself will come okay so this one also fading fading right and this one will fade in up yeah so guys we are this this is a simple um, you know home um, um, home page that we created now let's make it you know mobile responsive so let's click on mobile um the mobile responsive mode over here the more responsive mode over there and then let's check it on tablet view this eye is going to appear on tablet view so if you feel it's okay you can leave it just like that i think the top is okay now with this one we can just you know reduce it a little bit okay so sometimes with the tablet view if you feel it's it's not okay you can you know do whatever it is but then i feel like everything is okay over here now let's go to the um the mobile side which um a lot of people use mobile so uh, we want to adjust this text because it's too big let's go over here now and then you know reduce the text size to you know i think this is okay yeah this is okay 50. okay and then as you can see you know right now the text the two texts are um, together it's not supposed to be like that okay so we're going to remove the top margin that we gave and then you know just give it like 40 or maybe 50 yeah so this is okay and then also the bottom margin we're gonna give it like 40 yeah and then what we're gonna do is we click on the grip icon over here and then also we can you know reduce um, this height here yeah you can reduce the height here a little okay now if you have a different photo you cannot insert it as in like um, one specifically made for uh, mobile okay you can what insert it over there and then the same way we can play around with this settings over here we can reduce um, you know this one also instead of 45 you can make it like 30 
35 yeah and then with this one also the same thing you can play around it <coughs> sorry you can play around it you know you can give it all around pattern of let's say 50 uh, 50 is too much so let's say 30 yeah or oh, even 30 is too much let's say 20 yeah so 20 is okay the same applies to this one 20 the same applies to here we go for 20 yeah so basically we are almost true with it and then also over here yeah we can also you know give it some pattern of 20 yeah okay so we are almost almost true with it everything is um, done now and then we just click on what update okay so guys we are true with our home you know our home page now we are not going to waste smart time on the home page so we are true with it now let's take a look at how it looks on the on the website so let's click on you know refresh to see the outcome here so as you can see the animations are all falling in it yeah everything is what working perfectly everything is nice now what we have to do is we have to go back to the home the um the dashboard and we exit to dashboard over here okay so we are on our dashboard now um we have to you know do some quick settings because as if you see over here it's it says what just another wordpress site we don't want it that way so uh, we go to settings over here and then general in the general we can change all the settings um, from there so we give it as a site name so the site name is what first delivery and then a tagline tagline is what um fast secure and reliable yeah so basically that is it now you can also you know set the default rule and all those things and then you can say maybe anyone can what become a member of the website depending on who you are who what you are doing but then in this website i don't want anybody to become a member i want people i choose as agents and you know merchants and all those people to become a member because they can be able to what work for me okay and th those people will have access to you know the website more all, all other people are people who will just come and then do tracking on it they don't need to become a member to track their things so i'm just going to click on save over here so now we are done with this one so let's check and see if the you know yeah as you can see it has taken place over here now we need to um check our logo so that we can you know design our menu and all those things okay so um let's the header the header and the menu and then the footer okay let's check it so we need to um go to appearance and then we go to customize so i'm going to open it in a new tab <laughs> okay guys so um this is this is our, our header okay now we want to um you know m make the header our um you want to replace this fast delivery with our logo okay and then also you know do some small settings on it so um let's go to first let's go to um let me see site settings and then we set an icon for it so the icon that appears just like the google one over here yeah we want to set something for it so i'm going to choose this icon and i'm going to select it 
they will tell me to crop it but it's okay i'll skip cropping yeah so as you can see it is so it has replaced it and i'll just click on publish and then i'll go back let me let me click over and then i'll click over here site title and logo yeah very good and then i'll select our logo the logo that we are using which is this one and i'll choose it yeah it is okay for me okay so everything is okay so i'll just click crop it and then i'll use it as what the logo so that is it first so i can reduce the logo size i can reduce the logo size let's say 90 yeah i want it to be 90 and then i can decide to just use only logo or both um, you know title and logo or title logo title and then tagline anyhow you want it okay so you decide it anyhow you want it but i i think this one looks perfectly well this one is okay and then i'm gonna click on you can click on design to what um, you know to choose anything that you want so let's say you don't want this one to be black you want a different color just like the color that we want we use the color um, the purple color that we want we chose so let me use this dark color over here and then yeah so this is perfect so everything is what um, falling in shape and the logo too is okay yeah so the logo too is okay so we just click on publish now with the with the um you know the the navigation over here you can you know decide to even bring um a search bar over here so let's click over here and insert search or so social icon we don't want to share icon we want search let me see if yeah this is search you want to search yeah icon over here and then we can also decide to uh, customize the the navigation bar okay so we can design it the way we want it so um, you know the colors how do you want it so we want it to be black or right want it to be I want it to be full black but when I hover on it I want it to be the color this color and then when I it is um, you know um, the the when it is active I want this purple color this one eight thousand eighty this one yeah so this one will be great so when you hover on it it will be what that color but when it is active the color should be purple this purple color okay so I think it is okay so the font the navigation font you can change you know the size the you select the font that you want to let's choose the font and make it poppins and then the style okay if you, you want it to be ital um, italic or whatever it is you can choose and then the, the size and then the transform so i want it to be capital just like that and then the size i want it to be 15 yeah and then um the font i want it to be 600 yeah so this is this is quite okay and then i can click on publish to publish it so um i think we are we are true with our heading now what we we have to do is to check our footer okay so for the footer for the footer 
yeah we want a simple footer just like this one but we'll get over there so um with a simple footer just like this one we're going to design and then we want the background to be to be this one to be this color okay but we want it to be dark yeah more darker yeah so and then the rigid title all should be white 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 okay and then the content should also be white okay so basically that is it and then what again yeah and then the, the titles you want it to be poppins and then uh, let me check the font style yeah regular is okay but the size should reduce the size here yeah, 15 is okay the same thing applies over here okay poppins and then let me come here poppins and then star i think yeah regular is okay but the size should reduce drastically yeah so this is okay and then the link color i want it to be this purple Oh, cancel the link color. I want it to be this, yeah, a little bit light, yeah, so that will bright over there. So, now with this one, we can change it, okay, guys. We can, you know, change the footer bottom, then you can change everything, okay. So, this is this is basically what the footer you know bottom is all about you can place your text in there in here okay so whatever you want to write you can what place it in it so we have the copyright the year the site title okay and then the team credit so instead of um this one i'm gonna write maybe give it this and then uh, made by Crytek digital okay so then I'm gonna publish it and then that is it so we are done with our foot uh, footer and then our header so now our website is what looking very nice the front page of our website is looking so nice now let's 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 quickly take take a look at the front page of the website yeah so guys this is how the front page of the website looks like okay very very unique and very nice very simple and nice so somebody can click over here to track the parcel okay you can track it now we will, we will edit all these places because we have to make the colors everything to be the same as um, our our team color okay what we, we are the website you know brand what we want so basically um, let's go to the next step we are going to go is to go to you know arrange rearrange the um, the menu okay so let's go to um, appearance go to menu and then set the menu because it is not set we haven't created any menu yet so to create a menu all what we need to do is what to type in our menu name so this is what main menu and then we want it to be a primary menu and then we click on create Now menu is created 
we have to what, bring all the items we want it under this main menu over here so let's go to um, view or we want the home we want the about us we want the con um, account contact track okay all of them we want it to be here so we we drag the, we we select them and move them to here now we can rearrange them the way we want it so we want this one to be here and then this one to be here or we can you know put this one over here yeah and then we we'll click on save so if you go to our website and then refresh the website you realize that the menu has been what arranged okay very nicely and that is it now let's you know um the next step we're going to do is to uh, to um work on the cargo itself do the settings of the cargo itself okay now we install the plugin but we haven't done any settings for it yet so what we're going to do is we're going to do all the settings for it so let's hover on cargo over here uh, let's go on cargo and then let's you know start from um map settings okay or let's go to general settings let's start from general settings now this is the general settings of the what of the cargo okay these are all the settings that you you need all uh, every settings over uh, all the settings are over here okay these are all the settings that you need now as you can see the cargo comes with two different things you have the shipment and then the cargo this one deals with all the settings and this one deals with how you can be able to uh, create a shipment okay now uh, the the uh, add type of shipment is what the type of shipment that you are doing what kind of shipment are you doing so maybe you are doing for us we are doing um you know door to door shipment we doing okay so we will do van you know move or um you know maybe truck or van we also do um, um tricycle if you want tricycle um, delivery we also do um how do you call it um motorbike motorbike delivery and then we also do door to door so it depends on how to you do okay and then we also do um uh, um how do you call it um, pick up um um, um st office pick up depends on what you do okay you load the body now the, the shipment mode for us our shipment mode is just land we don't do air we don't do sea okay so all what we do is what we do land and then over here you can enter all the locations that you want you want to ship to so i am based in ghana so i can type in all locations of what of ghana over here so what i'm going to do is i'm going to type in let's say Medina, um adenta um odoko you know all those places east legon you can list all um atomic junction um la paz you can list uh, everything over here. Santa Maria. Santa Maria. Sotum. All those places. Okay. Casua. You can list everything that you want to list. Like all the cities, all the things. Well, Accra, Central Accra, whatever it is. You know, everything. If you do outside Ghana, uh, outside Ghana too, you can list all of them over there so that people can be able to, uh, to, to choose. So it depends on what you do. And then add shipment um, career. So what is your shipment career? Our shipment career is just what? We don't do DHL. We don't do whatever it is. We just do our local normal shipment career. And we call it um, fast delivery. Korea 
okay so that is what our shipment career fast delivery career and then add shipment payment mode so how do people will people pay you okay so how people will pay you depends on um, you you yourself how you want to call it so you want to collect cash check or BAC so the way you want it so for us we collect cash and then mobile money mobile money and then add shipment status so these are the statuses that it is what you add you can delete this one and add your own status so pending picked up on on hold out of delivery in transit and route cancelled deli delivered return we leave it just like that and then you can add your what shipment logo so we just select our logo and then we add it over there and then we want to display barcode yes we want to display barcode and then tracking page settings so this is what our tracking page and then print settings font family default let's leave it the way it is just like that font size you're gonna leave it the way it is just like that or you can you know choose a font size maybe 12 you know the way um, people can be able to see it so let's let's m let me make it 14 okay the font size should be 14 and then shipment number so here you can enable um, restrict duplicate the um, you know shipment number or enable auto generate whatever it is so if you want an auto to be um, automatically generate whenever somebody want to add a shipment you take over here i think the auto generate is nice so you can add your prefix to the what to this um to the to the number the shipment number so that um, it will be unique so uh, ours will be what fd fast delivery and then the ca i can use what ga to stand for ghana okay and then um 12 digits number so the number of um, you know dig it that you want it to what um, I just want um, six this will be the number of dig it that generate the default number is what 12 and the minimum is four so I want it to be six dig it and then the base color code we want to choose our own color code so we use this one over here as the base uh, I'm gonna use the dark purple, yeah, the indigo one. So I'm gonna choose this one, yeah, as the base. And then if you have tax and all those things, you set it. And then um, shipment history. So in um, in this, you know, um, plugin, these are the people who are allowed the rules on the what on your website right now. So you have the admin uh, allow rules to update shipment history. So which people are can be able to update their the shipment history. So you can allow the administrator, the cargo client, the cargo um, agent, the cargo employee. Okay, those um, these people can be able to what you know update um, shipment what history. Okay. If you have an e-commerce website too, you can also take what? Shop manager. They can also, also what? Or a customer. All of them can also be able to what? Um, you know, update. But as of now, we just want cargo agent, cargo employee, and then the cargo client. So the agent works for you. The employee also works for you. But the agent is somebody like, is like a partner to you. You understand like a partner but the employee is your worker and then a client is somebody who um you know maybe you deal with the person is your client so they can what update but this person cannot update okay so these two people can update the shipment history and then assign shipment email settings so um disable email for employees if you want to disable email for these people you can what disable it so aside that if everything is okay you just click on what save settings now you can check 
all the other settings okay now I'm going to just leave this um, email settings and admin email settings client email and and go to package multiple package settings so over here you can you know set in all those things so the piece type selection so what kind of like package do you use so is it a box is it you know any kind of thing so you can what um, write it over here you can type it over here okay so that people can um the the people can choose or customers can choose um when they are what creating the sh uh, shipment package i mean the agent and then the employee can choose when they are creating the shipment package for what for delivery so that is it and then we have the map settings now if you have a um, google map api key you can enable it and then you can what you can put your api key over here and then you click on what you save so basically these are the few settings that you do you have to do for this um, plugin okay now after doing all these settings i think you are good to go because we've done the map settings we've done the general settings the client and all those things multiple packages so we are good to go so now we can what add um sh shipment okay so you can you know add category of shipment and then you can what add the shipment so let's try and create some you know maybe some category of shipment that we want so we want maybe um door to door shipment so door to door office pickup and then we also want um, what are our services over here oh i didn't really state it over here but it doesn't matter dot to the office pickup and then you can you know type in any other thing that you want to type so let's say uh, van delivery okay so let's say these are three categories that we have and then let's go to add shipment okay so if you want to add a shipment this is where you come add shipment over here now automatically as you can see we have what our um you know shipment um tracking id has been generated for us okay yeah so if you have client over here you can select the client who the shipment is for if you have you know employees to over here you can select the employee who uh, the shipment is directly going to but there is no we we don't we haven't like created any so we cannot assign any client and then employee to it but these are the details that you are supposed to fill okay so you have what shipment details the shipper details is over here the name of the shipper the receiver over here so if i am sending it i'm going to write my name over here to so, um kobe and then my phone number i'll just put in all the other details that i have to put in and then um the receiver the person who is what also receive it so let's say evans and then the phone number of that person too so i'll just type in the other details which that the other person is also what supposed to do and then say shipment details so type of shipment what type of shipment so you see the one that we created is over here so let's say it is door to door shipment okay and then the weight what is the weight of the item that the person is sending so let's say it is what 2 kg and then um, the career okay and the Korea is what the Korea is um, fast delivery fast delivery the packages so it is just one package and then the mode that it is what it is going is what land 
and then the product what is the name of the product so let's say it is what um ps4 console and then the um the quantity it is also one and then you select the mode that the payment mode so let's say the person will pay in what uh, mobile money and then the total fruit how much is it so let's say it is um, 20 cities so 20 cities and then the career career the career is the first that we select almost just like this one and then the career reference number so if you have any reference number you can put it in okay so i'm going to put in one 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 two three and then the departure time what time is it departing you can select the time so maybe 10 a.m and then the origin where is it going and where is it from okay so maybe it's from Medina, and then the destination it is going to um atomic junction or let's say uh, santa maria and then the date pickup date the pickup date the time that um you know you're gonna pick it up for delivery so let's say it is today and then pick up time it is also um 10 expected delivery when do you expect so in two days time so or let's say tomorrow so here and then if you have any comments that you want to add to it you can what you can add it to it aside that you are good to go and then you can add ship and uh, the shipment history automatically at the moment you update it it will come you can also add you know the package packages over here so over here the quantity is what the quantity is one the um the, the packet type is um let's say it is cutting and then the description is what um ps4 console and then you know the length and all those things you can what write it by so let's say um 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter so in all you are done so that is what that is it so when at the moment you calculate it the actual weight comes over here okay the actual weight comes over here so you can use the actual weight over here which is uh, where is where is the weight here over here 10 kg okay yeah so you can use the actual weight over here and then you are done and then you can select the category if it is door to door you give it to it and then after that we are done we are good to go we can what decide to what um, choose you know um where we, uh, we w is it in transit is out for delivery and all those things and then maybe it's pending okay and then where is it pending let's say it is pending in um medina the location is what medina and then we can click on publish okay now that we publish it now if you want to check we just need to give this one this at the moment you publish it an email will send to the um the receiver okay the receiver will have to receive an email okay which um, will have the tracking code and other things in it so let's copy the tracking code and go to our website and then click on track over here and see if we can track the the pro uh, the the package so you you put it in over here and then click on track now as you can see everything is here so you have what a barcode over here okay you have you know your your um logo is over here and then the information the receiver the shipper the receiver the shipment history the everything about the shipment is what is over here okay it is it works just like the normal um tracking you know 
um, 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 in all the other big big companies all the other big big shipping companies okay so basically that is it so if if the admin or the you know the client um the the employee or agent updates um you know the 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 shipping this details maybe it is it has moved from Medina to a different place so let's say it is now in um atomic junction you can change it and you know click maybe in transit and then write your package is now in atomic junction okay and then you just click on update now when we go to the tracking side again and then we, we click you see this is what we have right now so it is what Medina pending and then the one who updated it okay now if we click on um, we, we, we paste it over and click on track results right now again it needs to change okay as you can see it is what atomic junction in transit your package is now in atomic junction okay so basically that is how you can be able to what um, you know use this track form and then create this beautiful um, use this plugin and create this beautiful website that you have over here so we are almost through with the website all what you need to do is to add your um about us page okay with the about us page you know how to create it already if you can create this beautiful um how do you call it this beautiful landing page or home page over here and it's easy for you to create this about us page okay so i'm not going to waste my time over here so guys i'm going to end this video over here since we've dealt in um more about the 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 um you know the plugin itself that can be used to what to um design this kind of beautiful um you know delivery or career or shipping website like this so um thank you for watching and please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for me please share the video and subscribe to the channel for me see you in the next video bye bye